Hey folks, today we will go through the steps for setting up Azure AD with the flexibility of SAML when setting up a connection in Auth0. To begin the setup, let's navigate to the Azure portal. From the welcome page, click on Enterprise Applications under Azure Services. On the Enterprise Applications window, click on the New Application tab at the top, then click on Create Your Own Application tab. Enter the name of your application, such as Azure via SAML. Select Integrate any other application you don't find in the gallery, non-gallery, and click Create. On the left pane of the Application Overview page, click Single Sign-On, and under Select a Single Sign-On method, click SAML. In the basic SAML configuration box, click Edit to the right. On the basic SAML configuration pop-up window, under Identifier, Entity ID, click on Add Identifier. Using this example, Earn, Auth0, Tenant Name, Connection Name, to set up the identifier. Keep in mind that the connection doesn't exist in Auth0 at this point, so you can choose any connection name. In this example, let's name the connection Azure via SAML. The resulting identifier will be earn auth0.mytenant Azure via SAML. Additionally, do not include the full tenant domain in the identifier, only the tenant name. Click on Add Reply URL under Reply URL. Assertion Consumer Service URL. The URL should include your tenant name, the region, and the auth0.com. However, if the tenant was created before June 11, 2020, then the region can be omitted from the URL. Once the identifier and reply URL have been entered, click on Save at the top. A message will display indicating that the single sign-on configuration was saved successfully. Scroll down the page. In the SAML Certificates box, click Download next to Certificate, Base 64. In the Setup Azure via SAML box, copy the login URL by clicking on the field to the right. This will be used later for the Auth0 setup. Now that those steps are completed, let's navigate to the Auth0 dashboard and finish setting up the connection. On the left pane, click on Authentication and then Enterprise. Select SAML at the top, then click the Create Connection tab on the top right corner. On the new SAML connection window, under the connection name of field, set the name to what was entered for the Azure setup. In our example, this was Azure via SAML. Under the sign, in URL field, paste the login URL that was copied earlier from the Setup Azure via SAML box in Azure. Under the X509 Signing Certificate field, click on Choose File and upload the certificate that was downloaded earlier in Azure. Scroll down the page and click on Create at the bottom. Now let's go through the steps to test the connection. Click on Applications at the top and toggle on the application that uses the connection. After that is completed, navigate back to Azure and click on Users and Groups on the left pane. Click on the Add User Group tab at the top. Once on the Add Assignment window, click on None Selected under Users. On the Users window, select the corresponding user by clicking on the box next to their name and click Select at the bottom, then click Assign. Back on the Auth0 dashboard, click on Back to SAML at the top. On the SAML window, click on the three dots to the right of your connection. From the Options, click on Try. Select the corresponding account on the Microsoft account pop-up. If the configuration was successful, a message will display indicating that the connection works. You have successfully learned how to set up Azure AD as a SAML Enterprise connection. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to us on YouTube.